Always great catching up with my next guest, Ed Herman, who's going to be taking on Zach Cummins UFC Fight Night, April 15th. Ed, how's it going? Good, man. How you doing? I'm uh, just driving from one appointment to another, doing a little uh, physical therapy, chiropractic stuff today. And now I'm heading back to the gym on the other side of town to get a little more training in. There you go. And making time for interviews, man. I appreciate the um, the multitasking. Um, first fight since February of 2021. I know you've been, uh, it's been tough, uh, you know, getting back in there. There was that fight with Maxim Grisham. Why haven't we seen you in so long? Um, you know, I've just been busy with life stuff. A uh, little bit, little injuries had came up a couple times. And then, you know, I, you know, my life's changed a lot in the last couple of years. I opened a new gym. Uh, took on a bigger role at American Top Team, coaching, you know, uh, the fight team there. And I got a divorce. There's a lot of crazy stuff been going on. Uh, but things are good, man. My, my life's in a great place right now. I'm, I'm really happy about the way things are going. So I'm excited for this fight. Good for you, man. So it sounds like the right amount of time off then just to deal with everything and kind of, you know, go into the fight, you know, with a clear head and everything. Yes, sir. That's good. Hey, yeah. so they're... They uh, they tell you you're fighting Zach Cummins. Were you a bit surprised by that? Because you know Zach's fought as low as as welterweight in his career. I know you haven't. Uh, yeah, you know uh, Zach's coming up uh, to fight me at light heavyweight. I think it's his first time at light heavyweight, so uh, I'm excited about that. I think it's a good matchup. Zach's a tough bet. He's going to come in there prepared. Um, he's looking pretty good size too. I saw some video of him, so. Uh, you know, uh, I think it'll be a good battle for the crowd. I agree. Um, do you like fighting guys like him? He's sort of a, a veteran, like an OG like yourself. Do you like these fights as opposed to some of the up-and-comers? You know, right now in my career, yes. You know, I'm not trying to fight, uh, uh, you know, a 21-year-old Dagestanian killer right now in my <laughs> career. If I don't have to, uh, you know, but uh, you take what comes, but this is a great opportunity. I think it's a good matchup for me and Zach both to get in there and, you know, kind of battle the bets. It'll be good for the crowd. Uh, just an exciting, an exciting battle. Yeah, no, I, I agree with you there, man. Um, and then uh, as far as the style matchup goes, how are you looking at this one as far as uh, what you bring to the table against him? Well, you know, I'm going to use my speed and my spinning back kicks and, you know, flying elbows and stuff like that like i usually do to uh you know dominate with a highlight knockout awesome i like it You're quick and simple to the point by the way i, I got to give you precision points here uh holding the phone driving uh hopefully everyone's safe here but uh i gotta give you credit man it's uh it's quite the quite the skill you got there it's kind of stop and go traffic it's not too bad so okay that's uh, good as i stop i'll look over and smile it's uh, probably one of those times you wish you had one of those little phone mounts on your on your dashboard there right you know, I'm in a rental. My car broke down this weekend. Uh, so it's, uh, yeah, getting some transmission work done. And uh, so I'm in a rental, you know, so okay. I have my phone. No um, worries. <laughs> look, look at the dedication to uh, doing this interview here. You, you know, get the rental car. You're doing it in between training sessions. I, I appreciate it, man. Uh, let's talk about camp. You mentioned it there. American Top Team Portland. Uh, Who have been some of the main training partners for this camp? Um, you know, uh, I got a few different guys who helped me out. Uh, obviously, my coaching staff, Fabiano, uh, and Mike Pierce, um, Dylan Fussell, and, and Hamza Salim are doing a lot of my mitt work and striking. Um, but I got Taylor Johnson training. Oh, nice. Me. TNT. I love Taylor. Great, great yeah. guy. He fights for the PFL. Uh, super badass guy. Great wrestler. Good hands. Um, you know, and then we have a lot of other guys in, in the gym some some unknown guys you know what i mean they're in there helping me out evan dunham is a guy who's came in and helped me out a little bit oh he nice fought, he's up in eugene so he's a natural left-hander so it's a good matchup uh he's a little heavier than he you know was when he fought in the ufc so <laughs> he's built kind of like zach you know at the moment okay that's a good a good look he's a black belt in jiu-jitsu you um, I got Sam Alvey actually coming out to help me for a little bit. He's oh, a no way. Mine and he's another lefty and kind of a banger. So I feel like uh, Zach's going to try to make this a boxing match. So I think Sam's going to be a good guy to train with. Uh, and he's a good time. He's going to come out to the show and stuff next weekend. Um, so 
Facebook. I've got my first MMA promotion going on. We're having our first show this weekend. So oh, no way. Something that I've been working on a ton. And uh, speaking of other things I've been doing the last year, yeah, I've been working on getting this promotion going. Uh, started like a, a rental company. So I rent my cage out. And we help co-promote a bunch of shows around here. Uh, nice. So I've been really digging into you know some other aspects of this this world. Good for you, man. We should. I was going to say, if I would have known you got a show coming up, maybe I can get an interview or two in. I love interviewing the up-and-comers. So, uh, yeah, let me know. I'll, I'll look into that after uh, after the interview. Yeah. yeah, awesome. That'd be great. Yeah, it's good. Because I know, what was the big promotion back in the day? Cage Sport? What was the one that was in uh, Washington State anyway? It's in, kind of in that area. Oh, Cage Sport is one that has been around for quite a while out here. Uh, hmm. Actually, one of the uh, – a guy named George who worked with Cage Sport and was kind of the, the main guy who worked with Brian – is who I teamed up with for, for this show for this show uh, this weekend. So oh, cool. Excited for it. What's the name of the promotion? Um, it's uh, Cage Warriors Northwest. Oh, cool. So you have the Cage Warriors brand then? Yep, yep. So we're working with that. That's awesome. Sounds sounds great. Um, how about the cut? I know when you've been off for a while, it's tough to you know shed those pounds, but uh, how, how's everything going with the weight cut? Uh, you know, weight cut's not an issue for me. Uh Really, at 205, uh, you know, one of the reasons I went up is so I wasn't having to deal with these drastic weight cuts. Um, so, you know, I got some work to do, but it's coming off good, and it's not a big issue. It's kind of uh, the easier part, which, which is what I wanted. I wanted to be able to focus on my training and my skill building, and not always the weight, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. That's great, man. And uh, who's going to be in your corner for this fight? Probably Fabiano Scherner. Who else is going to be in there? Yeah, Fabiano is going to be there. Uh, Mike Pierce is going to be there, longtime UFC vet. And then one of my longtime uh, training partners, uh, Hamza Salim, oh, cool. uh, really good striking coach and, and uh, MMA fighter out of our gym in Portland, American Top Team. I've traveled with him and quartered him a bunch, so now it's his turn to, to help me. So it's exciting for both of us. How's this fight playing out on April 15th? I know you don't like getting paid by the hour, so I'm sure we're – I'm sure neither of you want to hit the scorecards. <laughs> you know, uh, it's hard to say, right? Um, Zach, most of his fights go to a decision. Mm-hmm. Uh, not an easy guy to finish. Um, he's, I don't think he's ever been knocked out. He's only been submitted a couple of times. So, of course, you know me, my goal, I want to try to knock his ass out because he's never been knocked out before. Uh-huh. Uh I like Zach. He's a great guy, so it's exciting to fight somebody that I like. You know, it's kind of funner than fighting someone that you don't like. So, you know what I mean? It's kind of, it's all business. You know, we're going to go out there. We're going to make some money. Uh, we're going to show show some of these young kids we still got it. Um, yeah. That's so, awesome. Um, so I, I guess I said the wrong name. Cage Warriors Northwest. This is our show right here. Oh, cool. There you go. There you go. That's the, awesome. Yeah, this is one of the VIP passes uh, this weekend. So uh, we can talk more about that later. Yeah, uh, I'm down. You know, you wanna, but uh, I'm excited for that show, man. We got a good card. and uh, uh, I'm excited for it to be over, too, because I've been putting a lot of work into it and stuff. So on Monday to wake up and just have to think about my fight will be nice. Uh, how many more fights do you have left on your contract? I was curious about that. I'm trying to take it one fight at a time. This is my last fight with under contract with the UFC. So uh, they've told me, basically, you know, we think you're getting old, so... Um, we, uh, you got to go out there and show, show us you still got it if you want to stick around. So that's my plan. Um, if not, there's other options and other promotions. I wouldn't find my, uh, or I wouldn't mind fighting a couple more times, you know, uh, over the next few years. So, okay. So leaving the door open, that's interesting. Um, and then, uh, you know, kind, kind of on that note, we got uh, the, se- the you know, the 31st season of the Ultimate Fighter coming up. You were on, what, season three? Is it pretty crazy looking back that you're still in the UFC, still uh, competing when most of your cast is, is not in MMA anymore? Yeah, I mean, I applied for season one. I flew out and almost got picked for season one. I was real close to being on season one. Uh, I yeah, didn't know well, that. I, yeah, I'm, uh, and then I applied for season two. They flew me out. I applied as a heavyweight. And uh, I was interviewing, and they were asking me how big I was. And I started talking shit, saying I could whoop any heavyweight's ass. <laughs> and Dana, Dana busted in the room and was like, oh, you're hilarious. We want to bring you back for next season because there's no way you're a fucking heavyweight. Wow. You know I mean? uh, and he did. They brought me back out for season three, and I you know, made it on the show. And the rest is history. But, uh, yeah, it's pretty crazy still being around. I don't even know. I wonder, uh, 
Add, there's nobody left one through three. I know that. I don't know if there's anybody left from four, five, six, seven. I don't know how high it goes before there's anybody around. So is, is I think Kendall Grove's still fighting, but not in the UFC. I think he's. I think isn't he? I, th- I think he was competing for KSW. I think. Yeah, yeah. We're talking about the big leagues here. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> That's a good point. Um, going back to that Ultimate Fighter thing, I didn't know that. Um, were you kind of disappointed on season one that they went with Jason Thacker? And I, I say this as a Canadian. Jason Thacker's Canadian, and I still don't think he should have been on the show. Well, you know, they had their reasons for picking the guys they did, you know what I yeah. mean? Uh, but my teammates, Chris Lieben and Nate Corey, got picked over me, and they were more experienced at the time and had fought, mm-hmm. you know, a little bit more you know, bigger names and stuff. So uh, they picked those guys over me. So yeah, I was bummed, but you know, those guys deserved it more at the time. Yeah, there we go. Hey, Ed, thanks for doing this. I've never done an interview with someone being able to hold the phone and talking in the car at the same time, man. So props for that right off the bat, but we're looking forward to the fight. UFC Kansas City. Uh, If there's anyone you want to thank before we get out of here, any sponsors, any social media, and let us know once again about your promotion before we get out of here. So uh, yeah, my team, uh, Dr. Paul Molina helped keep me, uh, Know, put back together all the time. Uh, my show coming up, Cage Warriors Northwest, this Saturday in Vancouver, Washington. So um, please check it out if you're in the area. We'll have some footage of it up uh, after the weekend. And, um, you know, hope you guys can tune in for April 15th to see me whoop some ass. <laughs>